Well, hey there, everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Isn't She Lovely by Mr. Stevie Wonder. This is a wonderful song to play on the guitar. I'm going to show you how to play the rhythm, I mean the chords to it. I'm going to show you how to play a fingerstyle arrangement of the main melody. And then I'm going to show you how to improvise over the chord changes. And I do have a free backing track for you to download. There's also a free chord chart for you to check out. And if you'd like the tab for the full arrangement of my version of this song, you can download that also. Everything's linked in the video description. So check it out. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let's jump right into it. So we're in the key of E major here. But we start off. C sharp minor chord, and I like to play a C sharp minor 9, which is this beautiful chord. We're playing the middle four strings of the guitar, we're playing the fourth fret, second fret, fourth fret, fourth fret. And then we go to an F sharp 13 chord, which is a wonderful chord. So we have the F sharp played on the second fret of the low E string. Then we, we're not playing the A string, the 5th string, and then we're playing 2nd fret, 3rd fret, 4th fret, 4th fret. And you don't really need to play the, the high E string, you can just play it like that if you want, with the high E being muted, so you're just having the pinky be on the 4th fret of the B string, but you can bar it, which is a nice sound. And then the 3rd chord is an A chord, with a B in the bass. So it's just barring that second fret. And like any bar chord, it's difficult to hold that for an extended period of time. It goes by pretty quickly in the song. And then we go to an E major. So we have. Okay. And the rhythm I'm doing there, you know, it has a shuffle feel, this song. And so I'm going. It's just two stabs. Two stabs, then you kind of feel the backbeat. And you can feel the backbeat however you like. I like to let the hand hit the strings a little bit. And you can do that little pickup that I'm doing. But anyway, you can really play the, the rhythm part however you feel it. But those are the first four chords, C sharp minor nine to an F sharp 13. You can play that with the thumb in the bass, by the way. A with a B in the bass to an E. And then we go to a G sharp chord, walking back to, you know, a C, C sharp minor 7. You can play it up here if you'd like. It's quite nice. You can play it down there, of course, as well. And then we go to an F sharp 9. You can play it down here if you would, you would like. And then we play a B. B13. To an E. So I thought it'd be nice to change around those four chords the second time. C sharp minor 9. F sharp 13. A with a B in the bass. To an E. G sharp 7. C sharp minor 7. F sharp 9, we can even put a C sharp in the bass there like I, I do in the tab. And then we play B13 to an E. That all sounds like...
So let's run the second half. So after we go to that B13 to the E, we go to an A chord. A major seven is a nice way to play that. And then we have a, a D, D sharp diminished, or sorry, half diminished, or an E flat half diminished. Half diminished is the same chord as a minor seven flat five. And it's kind of used as a passing tone going to the G sharp seven. So we go A, and then a D sharp half diminished to a G sharp seven, and then a C sharp minor seven, F sharp 13. And then we can do this walk up where we walk up basically from F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A, and then A with a B in the bass to E. Or we can just hang on that A with a B in the bass. So I'll play the, the whole chord progression through now, and then we'll talk about how to play it you know, in a finger style arrangement. up is just so it's second fret of the A string, fourth fret, second fret, fourth fret, and then walking up, sixth fret, fourth fret, sixth fret, fifth fret of the B string. And the song is in the key of E of e major basically, C sharp minor. So there we have it. There's a lot of different ways to play those chords and you might you know, be a little frustrated if, if I tell you, you can play the A with the B in the bass here, or you can play it here. But that's the beauty of, you know, rhythm and blues and jazz music is it's meant to be, you know, spontaneous and improvised. And, uh, you know, it's great to learn songs like this because we learn how to, how to incorporate, um, well, how to play over these chord changes, which these kind of changes occur in a lot of songs. So, Anyway, let's go into the fingerstyle version of the song now. So this is what the fingerstyle version sounds like. say the fingerstyle version, I really mean this is my fingerstyle arrangement of the song, because of course Stevie Wonder didn't play a fingerstyle guitar. His version is so, so beautiful. Um, but you know, when we're trying to play a song like this on solo guitar, what we're trying to do is have the melody be nice and clear and distinct so everyone, you know, can hum along to the song. And then we have the chords, and I particularly like to have a bass line that moves, especially if a song kind of swings, like this song swings. So it's nice to walk the bass a little bit. So what I'm doing here is we're going through those same chord progressions that we already learned, but we have the melody on top. So the melody's on the high E string, G sharp, A, G sharp. And then when we play this, those two notes, we're playing the C sharp minus seven, which is kind of a handful. <laughs> in the left hand. And if, if this is difficult to play on your, your guitar, you know, get get comfortable with it maybe on an electric guitar, that's probably a good, good idea. Just because it's easier to fret the notes. Okay, that's the first move. We're going from that C sharp minor seven chord. And the melody comes down there to the E. But before we play the E, we have that little bass move. So it's... Okay. Then down. 
down to that F sharp 13 chord. And then we walk up from the F sharp. And resolve to that E. So, so far we have Pretty tricky to play, but there's the train in the background. <laughs> we have walking up, and then as we play that G sharp note on the high E string, we play the A bass note. Whoops. And then we have the B flat in the bass. It's really quite tricky to play this. I'm I'm realizing that as I slow it down. And then we do this little hammer on. So that's F sharp melody note. To the G to the F sharp. Pinky to the E. And then pull off. Third fret to the second fret. Down to the fourth fret. And the good news is this song is quite repetitive. So the second half pretty much repeats we have so far and then we go so it's the same except we just come up to here that C sharp minor 7 chord sharp 13 chord, same turn around and then we go so we're going basically from a G sharp 7 chord playing that melody over the top so how would we do that we could play the G sharp like this which is a nice way to do it I like to do it like this I like that dissonance string ring out a little bit so we're walking up G sharp A B B in the melody go into that uh, D sharp half diminished to a G sharp 7 C sharp minor, and the melody is G sharp, F sharp, E, A, thir A 13, yeah. And then you play the open E at the same time as the G sharp, <laughs> and then an F sharp 7. And we just have the turnaround to go. So, so far we have. Just a reminder, I do have tab available for all of this, and you know, I play this a little differently every time, but there's a performance version of me playing this 
on on YouTube where I I play the main part on the acoustic and there's a kind of a drum loop going and then I play some melodies on the electric and solo over it and I think I played some really nice solos I, I like that recording and so the tab corresponds exactly to what I played in that video these days you know I'm liable to play it a little differently every time so I've shown you how to play the chords to the song I've shown you how to play a basic finger style version uh, well it's pretty intricate finger style version but it's not a complete arrangement it's just one once you know through the head and uh, I'm going to talk now about how to improvise over the chord changes and I think this is really where kind of the fun is to be had with this tune because there's some great chord changes and I'm going to teach you how to solo over the changes using just three scales and don't forget there is a link to download a free backing track and a free chord chart which I think will really help you and I've actually listed on the chord chart the scales used over each chord so the three scales we're going to use are the C natural minor scale sorry C sharp natural minor scale the C sharp Dorian mode the C sharp harmonic minor okay so just those three scales so let's look at the chord progression so we have the C sharp minor 7 we can play the C sharp natural minor scale over that and then we go to an F sharp 13 chord and because that F sharp you know 9 or 13 has that raised sixth, we're going to play C sharp Dorian mode. I know that sounds complicated, but when you kind of put it into practice, it's just going from the natural minor to the Dorian. Natural minor, Dorian, okay, and then over the, the B7 chord, we could play B mixolydian, we could play E major, because B mixolydian and E major have the same notes. Or we could play the C sharp natural minor scale. Because <laughs> that has the same notes also. So hopefully that made sense. I know it's confusing, but you can play the C sharp natural minor scale over that B7 chord as well. Over the E, you can also play the C sharp natural minor scale because it's the same notes as E major. So we might go. Dorian, natural minor, and then over the G sharp chord, that's where we play the harmonic minor scale, C sharp harmonic minor scale. Why? Because the G sharp 7 chord has that C note, and if we were to play a C sharp natural minor scale, and skip over that C note, it would be a shame, we'd miss out on that beautiful color. So if we add a C note to the C sharp natural minor scale, we get what is essentially the harmonic minor scale. And we skip over that flat seventh. So we might play something like this.
so I think you can probably hear the chord changes underneath you know those single lines I'm playing and the reason you know you can hear them is because I'm playing over the changes I'm following those those chords with a scale so just to recap C sharp minor you can play C sharp natural minor scale F sharp 13 you can play the C sharp Dorian mode over that A with a B in the bass play the C sharp natural minor scale play the same scale over the E chord when we go to that G sharp chord that's that's when it's nice to sneak in a little bit of the harmonic minor scale and then we go through the same changes again C sharp natural minor C sharp Dorian mode C sharp natural minor and then C sharp natural minor C sharp harmonic minor C sharp natural minor C sharp Dorian mode and then the rest is just C sharp natural minor I'll play a few more solos one two three overview of isn't she lovely i hope this video is helpful to you let me know in the comments if you have a request for a song you'd like me to break down in another video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already apparently about 50 percent of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed so if you aren't please subscribe now and do check out the free download to get the backing track as well as the chord chart with the scales written on the chord chart and check out the tab which is available which has all my lead solos as well as the fingerstyle arrangement, note for note. I can't give away the tab because I'd be breaching copyright. So check it out, and all the best. Thanks very much for watching. All the best with your plan.